Greetings, YouTube. Happy Sunday. I think it's fair to say that this month in Marvel Contest of Champions has been a mixed bag. On one hand, I think bounty missions have been a huge improvement, though it is a bit annoying and several people have complained to me privately about the limit of 10 Alliance members to get those bonus rewards and having that be a cap that gets full is, is pretty annoying. Uh, but, you know, they're much better and the rewards are much better than we've seen in the past. The uncollected difficulty especially for those of you who could even utilize your three-star Ronin, has been certainly better, especially that final chapter, than we've seen in previous months. But at the same time, this is the most bugged update ever. I'm hearing from Android users every day that have such bad lag, they can't finish fights. I have had insane lag, especially with my Human Torch fights, which have made it close to impossible to not get wrecked in some cases. Of course, we're still not sure about the new Alliance War map and the difficulty there, etc. So all of that's to say, sometimes you just need to see some crazy stuff to help you remember why you play this game, and even just to make your jaw drop. And so I have not one, but two crystal openings that were sent to me, or at least I discovered them within 30 minutes of going to bed last night, and they are two of the most insane crystal openings for five stars I have ever seen. And so I'm excited to bring them to you, we are going to break them down together, and hopefully you will be as shocked as I am, because the math don't lie. All right, we're going to start with this one. This is by Gabriel with a star, who sent this over and just said, Prof, you are going to be so jealous of me. As you know, I am hunting Omega Red. I am 0 for 30 currently. And who needs a Falcon when you can roll over on an Omega Red? Okay, you might be looking at that and being like, okay, that's cool, but... I see that all the time. Well, you wouldn't be wrong. I mean, there's nothing extraordinary about that one crystal. But you see, there's one more crystal. Back-to-back five-star crystals. And you might be wondering, no, it can't happen two times in a, in a row. I've never seen that. The odds of that are insane. Well, Yellow Jacket? No. Back-to-back -back Omega Reds in two five-star basic crystals. And uh, even if the assumption is true, and I thought for some reason that this number would be a lot higher, that there are only 113 champions in the five-star basic crystal, the odds of pulling the same champion back-to-back -back are approximately 1 in 12,769. Back-to-back -back Omega Reds, uh, he said he was going to use an Awakening Gem, but instead of just using it immediately, he decided to open both crystals. Thank God that was the case. And as somebody who is just really wanting any Omega Red that's 5 or 6 star, but especially a 5 star since I have a generic Awakening Gem saved for him from Cyber Monday, I am beyond jealous, Gabriel. That is all-time lottery ticket level luck. But that is just the appetizer for the main course. You see, the second video, in some ways, I think is even cooler. And if you're wondering how that's possible, let's take a look at Lintz 21s three five-star crystal opening from the alliance known as dork four all right many of you have reached out to me and have said that you have one or maybe two of the holy trinity but not all three for five-star pulls and so you cannot bring the holy trinity into act six because of the four-star restrictions i want you to keep that in mind because this first crystal you roll over a Gladiator Hulk and a Killmonger, which are both amazing champions, for Stark Spidey. Now, this is the least impressive part of this opening, because he already has Stark Spidey. In fact, he already has Stark Spidey duped. So this is just a second dupe of Stark Spidey. It's a really rare champion, and it's a super cool pull, but there's nothing really noteworthy about a second dupe on a champion that's already awakened. But there's two more five-star crystals, right? So imagine you've got three, you pulled the Stark Spidey again, pretty amazing. Hulk, Buster, Corvus, Ultron, what?! It's Holy Trinity Day, and now he's got a Ghost Rider he can bring into Act 6 to go along with his Stark Spidey. Two out of three members of the Holy Trinity, back to back. The odds of that, again, about 1 in 12,769. But what about the odds of pulling all three back to back? That's never been done, at least not on video. Massacre, Angela, shut the front door. It's Blade... And it's a new champion, Stark Spidey, Ghost Rider, and Blade, back-to-back-to-back to back to back jacks, as they would say in baseball. And in general, 
these two openings represent two of the craziest mathematical impossibilities I have ever seen in the game. And while I'm sure a lot of people are watching this and they're just feeling jealousy, I, and I do too, especially for the Omega Red, uh, I just have admiration for the fact that this can actually happen. Because it's so easy to want to quit the game as more and more terrible pools pile up. And there are a lot of people behind the scenes who have messaged me recently with the same message also. And that's, Prof, I have three six stars. All of them are terrible. I just want to quit. And I get that, right? I get that because for the most part, the six star pool in general is trash. So sometimes it's just nice to remind yourself that days like this can happen. And sometimes you only have one day like this in your whole MCOC career. And so you really have to savor it. This is also why even if you never send me a video watching this, even if you never post it to YouTube, record every one of your big openings because it's just nice for your own personal records to go back and replay the insanity. Because if this happened to me, I'd be like, that did not just happen. I cannot believe that just happened. And if you uh, don't have a video, you can tell your Alliance members, but it's easy for them to be like, yeah, whatever, bro, that didn't happen. But if you got video, it just becomes like the biggest flex of your life. So congrats to both Gabriel and Lentz21 on breaking my brain with two pools that are well over 1 out of 12,769. It is uh, truly something that I'm excited to post on YouTube, especially after discussing the bummer of the Nightcrawler switch trick, resting in peace. And I just want to say overall, uh, thank you to everybody who reaches out to me. I know so many people complain because they send me videos and I don't end up making videos. And sometimes it's just because I don't have the time to do it. But no matter what, even if it never shows up on my YouTube channel, I still appreciate you reaching out and sharing with me your luck because I get to be a little cheerleader, if you will, in your life. Even if I've never met you and, no and will never meet you, heck, we'll won't even know your real name or your voice, I still get to use the community to give you some positive love. And that is the message that I want to end this video on as you hopefully have a fantastic rest of your Sunday. Take care, YouTube.